this chicken sandwich. It's not so much about this sandwich that I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to talk about what this sandwich has done. It's your girl, Diana. I know I'm on the late train with this chicken sandwich. But I did do a video with my daughter, but I ran out of footage on my camera. But y'all can see we have the spicy chicken sandwich. And I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit about this chicken sandwich. It's not so much about this sandwich that I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to talk about what this sandwich has done for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Popeyes, uh, TV, social media, all of that. All of that. All of that. Now, one thing I can say about this chicken sandwich is that this chicken sandwich sandwich has made people famous. If y'all didn't know, it made people famous. Um, I'm telling you, if you ain't have no followers on YouTube, you got followers now. Because the chicken sandwich definitely made sure you had some followers. If you didn't have a good tweet, I'm sure you have a good tweet now. Now, I just found out that the reason they had this situation with the Chick-fil-A and the Popeye sandwich is because... Chick Fil A wrote a cat, wrote cash, I mean, wrote a check that they could not cash by saying that they invented the chicken sandwich, and so Popeyes had to make them out of a lie and show them what a real chicken sandwich is really all about. Um, you ain't gonna. I like Chick Fil A. Don't get me wrong. And I'm not trying to lift up Chick Fil A. I mean, uh, Pop. I'm just saying you're not gonna get this little piece of meat from Chick Fil A. You're just not gonna get it. And whatever kind of pickle this is. They put on here, which they could have gave me two pickles. They gave me one. They could have put me more sauce, but we're not going to complain. But let me just pray over my food. Father God, thank you for this food we're about to receive. We ask that you bless it. Sanctify, purify, and purge, and let no sickness or disease come up on my physical body and no added calories. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. But um, looking at YouTube videos and the hundreds of thousands of people that are watching people eat their chicken sandwich, like, they put Made me wonder. I begin to wonder did they put some is some crack in this sandwich? Like people going to creep them or literally losing their mind over this chick over this chicken sandwich. Over this Popeye's chicken sandwich. People are literally losing their mind. But at the same time, they are becoming famous. Okay. Yeah, they becoming famous. You see, I'm making a video and I know probably they probably gonna say like offset say. They do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. But anyway, I just I was talking to my daughter about it, and I was telling her, I was like, man, people are getting famous off the Chick Fil A sandwich. I mean, off of the whole oh, Chick Fil A is just ringing in my head. Off this Popeye sandwich, they are getting famous. They really are. Ooh, that was so salty that first bite. Mm mm. Ooh, that was a lot of salt and whatever that was. Uh, made me choke. Now I got the spicy sandwich, and I wanted the ma I wanted mayo on it, but he told me that. Oh, matter of fact, I got some mayonnaise, guys. Hold on. Now, if you guys know anything about the uh, this mayonnaise right here, blue plate comes from New Orleans, y'all. This is some of the best mayonnaise. If you can see it, or uh, look it up. I don't know if y'all can see it, but anyway, this mayonnaise was made in New Orleans. This is the best mayonnaise, and I'm so glad we have it here while I live because it really is the best mayo. But I need to put some mayonnaise on my sandwich because other than that, I just like mayonnaise. And um, But I want that kick, too. It ain't really hot like spicy where you can't eat it, but your girl needs some mayonnaise. So, anyway... I added some mayonnaise to my sandwich, okay? You know some people probably going to have something to say. But, that's my sandwich. Mm. That's better. They don't even give you a napkin. Do you have a napkin? My mama had a chicken sandwich. She don't like it. They don't give you a napkin. Where they do that is. But like I was saying about the chicken sandwich, people 
or actually becoming famous. I mean, they get numbers on they whatever their social media account is. They getting them numbers. Them ratings is going up. It just makes you wonder. Yeah, it just makes you wonder. Mm. I should have asked for an extra pickle. Last time I had a big long pickle. It's a little stingy on the pickle. But when the last time y'all seen somebody stand in line for some food? What was what was the last biggest thing they had? And, oh, and now everybody want to get in competition. You got KFC, uh, Wendy's. They, there's no competition when it comes to this. It just to me is not. Now, after today, I won't be going to get no more chicken sandwiches. So I got to get back on my keto and uh, keep stay stay faithful to my little keto. I'm doing too good to be falling off. Too good. Too too good to be allowing a Popeye's chicken sandwich to make me fall off. Mm mm. No. So when you eat this sandwich, one thing I must say, I think that I wonder if they marinate their chicken. Uh, who came up with the sauce? Does it come in a package, the little sauce that they put on here? Like I said, I found out today that with the chicken sandwich, I wanted mayo on my spicy chicken sandwich. And the guy said that the sauce is what makes the chicken sandwich uh, spicy. Didn't know that. I thought it was spicy already, but it's not. For you guys that do not know that, it's not spicy already. I watched um, Jessica the prankster the day, and her mom had me laughing. They had 15 to 18 cars in front of them waiting to go get them five chicken sandwiches. Now when you buy them here, I don't know about everywhere else, you can only get a limit. I think the limit is two per person or per car, something like that. We passed by Popeye's. Ain't nobody really out there. Ain't no long line. They still got the things up that says, sorry, we out of chicken sandwiches. And the guy who stole us our chicken sandwich, he looks so tired. <laughs> he looks so tired. The, the guy that's cooking the chicken sandwiches. I told my mama he's gonna lose some weight uh, with these chicken sandwiches going back and forth to the kitchen, back and forth to the kitchen. So I will say this this is not my first time having a chicken sandwich, but the first one that I had, a spicy chicken sandwich that I had, was actually four months ago in Houston, Texas. And um, it was really, 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 really good. It was so much bigger, it was good. That's why I'm tripping off of what's going on now until I found out that Chick-fil-A put that tweet about what I haven't even seen the tweet because I don't have Twitter. I just heard about it. But Chick-fil-A wrote a check that they could not cash. And Popeye's had to shut them down. Now, I will say this in defense of Chick-fil-A. They ain't going to run out of chicken. <laughs> They ain't gonna run out of chicken. I used to work for Chick Chick Fil A, and and we used to skin. When I say skin, take all the fat off the chicken. Just for the lunch rush, twelve boxes of chicken thighs. They weren't chicken breasts. Yep. Kind of pickle is that? I was really hungry today. Y'all know I'm, I'm on keto. I was out of my good keto snacks. I was out um didn't want to cook today. Didn't I had a little breakfast this morning? But I ain't really I ain't really. Hey, this is like really my. I guess you could say I ate a pack of tuna. 
and this sandwich, <clears throat> which I'm going to be up because I slept today a little bit. Besides, I'm calling my phone, waking me up every five minutes. But anyway, like I was saying, people are getting famous. Popeye's chicken sandwich has made social media famous. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, the internet on fire due to this chicken sandwich. It's three dollars and ninety-nine cents chicken sandwich. So I'm not looking for fortune and fame, but I just want to tell somebody about it. Whew. Some parts of it is salty. Yeah. I don't remember it being salty like this. Well, they're getting ahead. Mm-hmm. Tell Popeyes, this sandwich do not taste like the first sandwich I had here in Corpus. It's a lot saltier. Quit don't, don't tell them, don't throw it together. They're trying to hear them put them together now. No. Do how you used to do it. Now, don't try to kill foes with all this salt. It don't taste as good as the last one, and I'm just keeping it real and being honest. The first time, it was the best chicken sandwich I have probably ever had in my life, and that's just not being, just I'm being honest, but today it is like super salty. Well, that's it for me. I didn't get to get satisfied like I did last time. I was sure that's what I get for wanting so bad. That's what I get. That's what I get. Anyway, guys, y'all have a great evening. And whenever y'all see this video, enjoy your day. I love you. I'll be back with some more videos. It's taking me a minute. I had to take a break from YouTube for a minute. So, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.